What are your pronouns? Pronouns? Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. What are my pronouns? Mm. All right, cut real quick. I'm that man. Risk taker. Hustler. Pizza? Oh, um, seafood. Hamburgers, I guess. Yeah, I came across this clip, but I couldn't actually find out where it was from. I don't know who this guy is. Was he just there? Was he there trying to debate them and they got triggered because he invaded their safe space? I don't know. If anyone does know, let me know down below. Well, just reject to it. other trans women, Blair. I, I think do that's... all day. I am okay, right so... now. You seem to be looking at through the lens of always trans being the priority. I'm looking at through the lens of women being the priority here. Um, there's plenty well, why, of situations. Why, why? I just want to know why Because it's them who would that. fall victim to not actual trans women, as I said, but people posing as trans women. There was a video that went viral with some like whole man with a boner in the women's restroom and there's just some poor woman filming it like am I just supposed to like accept that this is here so I think there's levels to it I think that trans women who are actually trans you know we're talking gender dysphoria transitions making the effort where you can actually assimilate within that space and not cause a disruptance that would probably be the ideal time to start doing that yeah, I saw that picture and I thought to myself that's really a right-wing talking point and conservative propaganda because that's their ideology How is it when it was comes to trans. I'm speaking. Conservatives have a basic level understanding of what transness is. Top comment reads, Blossom was a toxic man who didn't like women. Now he's a trans woman who doesn't like women. And yeah, that makes a lot of sense because if Blossom was actually a real woman, then why would you be offended that the other person there is prioritizing women? Almost as if you know that you're a biological man. Because if you're actually a real woman, that doesn't make any sense to have a problem with someone who's prioritizing your rights. So yeah, anyway, let's get into the main part of the video. I mean, short kings need love too, right? No. No, no. not anymore. No. You're not, you're, not, you're not fucking with the short kings, no? Not anymore. It's China, you Sorry, guys. Huh? No. No. Why? Because he's a rat. Yeah, because he's a rat. <laughs> I'm a what? A rat. Because you can't a grow rat. a beard. A rat. <gasps> wow. Mm. Looks, Holy. Like he's, looks like he's got a beard to me. <laughs> really? Mm. Kingskeeper that called that you can. I mean, I mean <laughs> for your grooming needs. <laughs> put, put I think you need to use the manscape. <laughs> <laughs> it's rosemary oil. I, uh, I, I think you need to use the venom power and lose some weight. Ooh. I don't think I don't think I don't think you should be talking. I don't think you should be talking. Oh. I don't think you should be talking anything about anyone's looks. Like I can't believe you just did that. Like, are you, are you actually right? doing the bed? Are you okay? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? Yeah, have you seen yeah. yourself? In I, have, the I have, I have, I have. Yeah, and I've got, so, and, I've, and, and, and I've got someone that looks similar to Miss Piggy talking shit to me. Are you? How dare oh. you? How dare you? Right, yeah. <laughs> like you're talking about. This is what they do. They're playing victim. I was minding my own business. We started here. I was very respectful for her. Then she wanted to start disrespecting my beard. So I simply said, "How the hell can you talk? Have you seen yourself in the mirror? You, it's very cheeky. Absolutely. Very. Yeah, disrespect. but I don't agree. Yeah, no, no. But you don't have yeah, to. But agree. Do you, but but do you don't have, Yeah, but do you look at your beard and think? No, but no, but I'm saying to you, That's you can't not. talk. Yeah, but I don't you look in the mirror talk. and think, oh, I look fat. <laughs> but you are fat. But I'm not. But you are. But do you look at your beard and think, you've got a beard? Have you got a beard? Hold, hold, got hold a on a second, hold on a second. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, go on, you're not fat, stand up. You shouldn't have been talking shit. All right, it's all fun and games when they're calling him a rat and saying you can't grow a beard and we don't like short men. All personal attacks. That's okay, isn't it? All right, so now we know where we stand. But the second he defends himself and says, well, hold on a minute, you're fat. You look like Miss Piggy. That's a personal attack. Oh no, that's a problem. Everyone's suddenly like, <gasps> In Iran, women will get arrested, killed, attacked, beat just for showing their hair. To me, that is oppression. That's not scientific evidence of oppression. The scientific- Huh? Huh? Like evidence, the, like that, that's what? factual yeah. evidence. It's, it's yeah. factual. You don't need to do any scientific study to know that if you go to the Middle East, you may not even live a day just dressed how you are right now. In America, you can walk to a bar alone at night, get drunk, and get home safe. Yes, that's not the safest thing to do, but even the fact that you have the capability of doing that shows that women are free and not oppressed. And you can be a 
full-time worker your entire life working nine to five. You're going to college, you're studying. There's some countries that still women don't even have those rights fully where they can get an education and work. I don't know if you know, but that guy looks just like Stephen Merchant. And if it is, he fell off. Anyway, these are adults. This is this is grown people doing this. It's ridiculous. Walking in front of a moving vehicle and playing the victim. One of them at the end, I don't know if you heard it, actually had the audacity to say, you're an idiot. The Woman of the Year Award, supported by Virgin Atlantic, goes to Dylan Mulvaney. Hello, London! I am so honored to be here with you all tonight. And, you know, some see me as the woman of the year, as I only publicly came out online 560 days ago. And some people don't see me as a woman at all. I know. Which is why receiving this honor from a queer publication like Attitude means so much more to me. Because here's what I've realized. You ready? Okay. So, no matter how hard I try, or what I wear, or what I say, or what surgeries I get, I will never reach an acceptable version of womanhood by those hateful people's standards. Oh, where the word good morning originated from. Good morning. All right, so during slavery times, when the women used to mourn about their child being taken away, and when the slaves used to cry about what happened all night long, the white slave masters, the oppressors, will wake up in the morning time and they'll tell the slaves, did you have a good morning? Did you do enough crying last night? So the white oppressors came up with good morning as a mockery towards black people. All right, let's check out some comments. As a black man in the 60s, the internet is the worst thing that's happened to the young generation. Very sad. You know what? It's true. It is like a breeding ground for narcissism modern day internet sorry lady good morning started in the 12th century long before many people even knew that what we call america existed find some other way to feel mistreated and then this person says i'm embarrassed first of all morning and morning are two entirely different words with entirely different meanings he then talks about the origin of both of the words and then he says this is what a lack of education can do she she's confidently ignorant I saw this really cute guy at the grocery store the other day, so naturally I followed him to the checkout counter, and when he gave the cashier his credit card, I peeped it to see what his name was. And then I Googled him and found his social media profiles, and I was able to tell that he was single. So I went through his friends list, and I found his mother's page. And then I looked through his mother's page, and I saw that she was a member of this book club that's in my area. So I sent a request to join the book club. So I went to the book club meeting and I met his mom there and we bonded over some books that we both liked and she just thought I was so nice and I brought it up randomly in conversation that I was single and she let me know that she had a son that was single also that lived in the area. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick bitch. Why the fuck didn't she just holler at Buddy in the store instead of going through all of that? Because she fears rejection. But then again, that don't make any sense because it's more work to do what she did and she could still get rejected at the end of it. Pretty wild. All right, if you haven't seen this, this is a women's only SWAT team. Almost. Top comment said, I knew it was over when I saw the running at the start. Ah. You know what? I'm pretty sure they're going to smash all stereotypes. They're going to prove that they can Finally do this just as good, if not better involved. than the men. So let's check it out. Challenge this year. Belarus, Thailand, Chile, two teams from the Emirates. Oh. Come on now, dog. Oh. 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 
The first one to get wet in the ice bath today, and, and currently, come on, man, have uh, three team members stranded. And it just goes to show you how uh, how important momentum is. Oh, it's all going horribly wrong. Imagine being a hostage and you get killed because the SWAT team can't parallel park. <laughs> nah, that's a stereotype and we don't like stereotypes over here. So that's not funny at all. <laughs> In Canada, we had a woman empowerment in firefighting event where it was just for women to prove how great they are. They started a controlled fire to fight. They lost control and it threatened a small town and they had to call in the men. They only lost a couple barns, but a whole town was at risk because we need to make people who aren't qualified feel good about themselves at the cost of innocent lives. Now, this can't be real. Let me check this out. Okay, so it turns out it actually is real. Burning down barriers. Female firefighter conference causes out of control forest fire. Says what happened? Female firefighters taking part in a woman in fire training exchange program intended to promote mental health and gender diversity and inclusion accidentally caused an out of control forest fire in the national park. Residents in the surrounding areas were evacuated and several buildings were damaged on May the 3rd after the female firefighters initiated a prescribed burn that quickly escalated into an uncontrolled blaze. You know what? I'm not actually going to say anything bad about them because I just think this is maybe a bit of misjudgment, a bit of bad luck. And this, I know for a fact, has happened to men in the past as well where they couldn't control a fire. So I just think it's funny because <laughs> the whole event was to kind of prove that women could do it as well. And the one time they had to prove it, it backfired like this. But anyway, that's the end of the video. If you liked it, make sure you like, share and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.